Good evening, friendos. It's time for Infinity Drive for Life tonight, round eight. My goodness. Two times and then some, our initial plan of uh, three rounds. Now on round eight, this will be runs 22 through 24. My goodness. My goodness, that's a, that's a lot of Infinity Drive runs, but I'm real glad that we've stuck it out for this long. Infinity Drive for Life is a multi-day charity stream benefiting Extra Life, which benefits Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. In particular, this event is going to benefit Children's Wisconsin and Wauwatosa to help out with their COVID-19 impact fund. We've raised $808 so far. That's an incredible amount. Thank you very much, everybody, for your generosity. And we still have a, a, a slim chance, I think, but a chance nonetheless of unlocking a round nine, which would be played on this Friday at 7 p.m. CDT. We are currently at 2,006 points out of 3,000 needed for that. Let's uh, get a quick point breakdown on what we got going on. So we got 257 points from downs, because 257 downs, my goodness, that's a lot. Uh, 70 points from Embryo EX Encounters, 14 of those. 40 points from four Justice Surges, hopefully we'll take that number up soon. 240 points from 12 victories, my goodness, that's a lot of victories. We are sitting a little bit above 50% win rate. Uh, which I'm real proud of, especially in a, a marathonish setting here. That's a, that's a lot of victories out of the 21 runs that we've done and 12 victories, my goodness. 10 points from new follows, 500 points from 25 new subs, my goodness, that's a lot. And then 31 points from 3,100 bits cheered throughout the event. So thank you very much, everybody, for your contributions, no matter how large or small in whatever form they have taken so far. Uh, but we are still 994 points away from unlocking round 9, ninth and final round. Um, you know, I, I believe I'm going to keep the faith. I'm going to keep the faith. I'm going to keep the faith. We, I, we've got some time. We've got like two and a half, two and three quarters hours or so to make that happen. I'm going to keep the faith. But for tonight, we've got uh, our third runs with three different androids. We've got Starch, first up, and then we've got Peanut, and then we've got Licorice at the very end. Uh, so let's get the window dressing set for starch and get into this, huh? Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My goodness. All right. Well, <laughs> we've already had two starch runs, two victories if I recall, and we've done her normal skin and her uh, system shock skin, and now we're gonna do uh, mostly normal skin still, just a very shiny chrome, you know, gray and white metal kind of skin. Uh, already wearing her colors, of course. Uh, very, very plain gray, but a very, very stable and solid gray. Um, really looking forward to this here. So, as we kick off round eight here, the contest is still going on to win, uh, the top two will win one of these bad boys. This is, a uh, Physical Assault Android Cactus Plus Carts for Switch. A nice old box, it includes a full color manual and all that, as well as a pack of trading cards and, and a nice super rare game sticker in there too. Top two for the contest played on Infinity Drive 4.life, link on the bottom of the layout there. If you'd like to get in some last round donations here, donate.infinitydrive4.life. Uh, it all goes to Extra Life, or it all goes to uh, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, rather. Extra Life doesn't take anything off the top besides standard, you know, financial transaction fees, whatever. Uh, they kind of take care of all that for us. So, a, a very, very good cause. I, I certainly encourage it. If you're looking to increase the point count, I would... Uh, Please, please, please ask for donations first. Um, but you can choose how to, how to support. Just being here and watching is, is support enough, of course. If you are not able or don't want to donate, that's fine, too. Whatever does it for you. But let's get started with Starch here. Let's go. Pineapple, let's go. Let's get started and hope for a, hope for a win, huh? Let's uh, get ourselves a third win with Starch. Wouldn't that be something? Three for three on Starch would be a, a real good way to... To round out round eight, wouldn't it? It'd be real cool and awesome, but not guaranteed. We've we've got a lot of fighting to do, uh, no matter who we're playing as. But here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> What's your favorite pizza topping? Pineapple, clearly. You know, I don't get the whole hullabaloo about pineapple not going on pizza. It's actually kind of delicious on pizza. It wouldn't be my first choice. Certainly, but you know, it's 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 kind of it's unique It's it's unique and novel and and I enjoy it all the same It's really hard to, to it's honestly really hard to screw up a pizza Like if if your idea of a screwed up pizza is having pineapple on it. It's like wow, really? 
Like, really? I don't know. I don't, I don't trust your judgment there. So here we are. Red layer 3 already. We're doing, doing pretty good here. What a good start. A solid 100 and change chain going. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. On the red layer 4. So we were talking a bit about character lore in, in the past few rounds, and we've, we've talked about Starch being kind of a, a prisoner on this uh, deep space freighter, this uh, Genki Star, the whip is what it's called. And there's actually some, some real fun log entries via an in-game codex, you know, talking about uh, the origins of Starch, really. And, and it kind of sets out as, oh, uh, it's just a, a normal ship log or something, then it's like, oh, redacted, redacted, redacted. And then the very last one for Starch is something like, uh, Starch detained or, or deactivated or something for, for whatever reason. So they never, never actually tell you. Just a, a neat little canon sort of expanded Assault the Android Cactus universe going on. Which is real nice. Which is real nice and cool and fun. Kind of leaves a little bit to your imagination. It's just as well that it should, you know? They've got plenty of character development on their own with their different personalities and such. May as well leave a little bit to the imagination. And the fanfics and whatnot. <laughs> Alright, we're doing really good here. Red Lair 5, these mines are gonna try to do some business, but we're gonna, we're gonna hide in this little corridor and be safe. And be real safe. As we are looking for no single digit layers of first down tonight. Just like we did last time. It was like, what, 11 and 28 and another low 20s or something? It was real good last time for round 7. Some good layers of first down there. I mean, I would have preferred zero layers of downs, but yeah, you know, that's never gonna happen, <laughs> let's be honest. I do not have the wherewithal to pull such a thing off. But hey, maybe we'll do that tonight. We could very well make that happen tonight, couldn't we? If it's ever gonna happen, it may as well be tonight, right? So that would be something. But, we gotta deal with round six, or layer six in there. Surprise mines sometimes. That we do not enjoy dealing with. I guess we'll take the blue, whatever my first choice necessarily, but it was just sitting there and we had some big dudes to deal with, so whatever. Batteries over there next to the turret, it's like looking for it. Now I heard it pop. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. <laughs> Got a little scared there. We we're gonna grab the shutdown. We got popped in the side by one of them, and I'm surprised we didn't completely eat the down there. We made it out alive and grabbed that shutdown because we got a little frightening. Oh, excuse me. Okay, whatever. Pretty wings. Okay. Oh, well, that's Embryo. Hey, Embryo, are you working on that promotion again today? You're probably not going to get it, but, you know, good, good on you for showing up, buddy. Good on you for showing up. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, like no problems here. You know what, we're just gonna melt them. We're not even gonna bother swapping the rockets to deal with them. Cause point blank laser is just as good. And sometimes even better, honestly, sometimes even better. Bonk. Bye, Embryo. Thanks for playing. We'll see you at least twice more tonight. <laughs> Red layer eight. Yeah, 
mean, I wonder if her little quip there about having fun and getting deactivated maybe refers to the little systems log entry in the official game lore, perhaps? It's fun to think of the different connections. Okay, I have to get both of those, I think, right? Okay, yep. Let's hoping that one of those stayed firepower and one of them was an accelerate. We're on our way to casual thousand chain. That's real nice. There we are. Nice casual thousand. Oh, easy peasy. Look out. I think we will kind of maintain our accelerate a little bit for some extra safety. And keep our casual thousand rolling. Alright, on to red layer 10. Uh, don't blink, you'll miss it. It's one of those extremely short one enemy wave layers. As soon as it settles in, it's uh, on its way out already. In many cases, Starch is the best android. She's uh, objectively the fastest for campaign speedruns, as is shown by her her wicked time of like 42 minutes. I want to say that's what Transparent Blue has with Starch. It's a wild run. It's a wild run if you've ever watched it. It's just extremely good with uh, enemy kiting and control and real good swaps and use of secondary and perfect places and times, it's really good. It's really solid. Like, there's no hope for me, a mere mortal, to even come close to that. But I can re I can respect it being super good. Alright, let's uh, get out of that corner, as we like to be in that corner for some reason. Red layer 12, no problems so far. So, I don't know why I immediately went to the edges as soon as the mine phase started. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna corner myself out here. Just for old times sake. That shutdown is just kind of in my way, though. Uh, did I pop that dude behind the wall? I did. Wasn't sure if we got him before we turned tail and ran back towards the center. Never quite figured out how to get those last few spawns of turrets to, to drop earlier than they do at the end of the wave there. I think maybe it's because I focus down the outside so much they just don't spawn in until I come back to the center. What's there? Okay, good. I didn't want to lose my chain to something so silly as a, a flyer floating around the outside there. Let's 
we are going to hit that nice maybe 2,000 here. Assuming we don't take a, a quick dunk. Like, almost there, my goodness. Ah, oh, there it is! <laughs> we are almost away from it too. Alright, layer 14 gets the first. Trying my hardest to keep that chain rolling, and we took a dunk while I was uh, distracted by something else. Oh, and we're up to Vespi already, so that's fine and cool. No real ball strats for Vespi with Starch, unfortunately, unless we wanted to play along the inside edge of her her ball form here, which is quite harrowing. Especially with the speed with which these wasps phase in here. We'll just keep it nice and safe and stay outside. Pushing when we've got a clear spot. Alright, you know what? Look at this. I ain't dealing with the SP final phase. Let's just shut down in and do what we can do. It's a real nice boost to get our chain back into gear, though. A nice, easy 500 plus from the various Vespi Wasp phases. I can be satisfied with that 14 as layer of first down. It's double digits at the very least. Not super great, but certainly not as embarrassing as some of the uh, single digit layer downs we've had. Satisfactory, if not great. Red layer 17. I mean, real downside to it is the uh, conveyor belt. If this thing weren't spinning around, it might be a, a better layer than it is. But I guess they needed to make it more hazardous. Like, mines upon mines upon mines isn't hazardous enough, I suppose. And then weird crossfire because these dudes get caught on the conveyor belt, shoot their stuff, and, and be done. bunch up like that. They can hide the rocket targeting reticles pretty well. Just by putting a whole bunch of their corpses over them. Luckily we saw through their ruse pretty well. a bit of a questionable move. We almost got pinned against the wall again. At low health. Managed to just sneak on by. Mm -hmm. It's caught 
they look in there. I did the mines a little bit better there. More often than not, I end up double and triple backing and then get bodied by a couple that kind of drop in behind me. Nice red layer 20. I, I, I really like layer 20. Like, things get a little beefy in the middle. Like, halfway through the layer. But it does feel good to just kind of charge through massive groups. Just lay waste to everything. Especially with Starch, since it's really point blank or nothing. Doing all the work. Batch these factories real quick. So I probably should keep my accelerate on point though if I need to make a quick escape from somewhere. Or pull in a battery that pops across the level for some reason. Because that has a tendency to happen. <laughs> Papa shut down and just charge right through everything. I love it. So sitting at a nice solid 2000 chain. Getting that up there again. Oh, jeez. Hate that mine. Full on, I'm surprised we didn't down from that because we didn't have an accelerate going at the time. But whatever, hey, I ain't gonna complain a, against a bank error in my favor, it seems. Oof, do not like. As much as I like layer 20, I probably dislike in equal measure layer 21. The bear belts, the walls, the general enemy spawns, not great. Killing these wasps get caught behind everything. Ugh. Oh wow! How did I get bodied by that? Let's so just spawn them fish bullets in just the right order. But I couldn't uh, escape from it. So that'll learn me from getting too close, huh? As much damage as we can do at point blank. The right kind of setup, they can do just as much to me. Alright, that was a that was a 2000 sum on chain, right? Pretty good, but we can do better. Okay, good. See you later, layer 21. I do not like you. <laughs> I do not like you at all. Oops, that's a lot of power ups to be burning there that we really didn't need to do. Oh well. Plenty where those came from. Ooh, excuse me. Dicey little dance there. Oh, and on to justice already, huh? Man, always kind of sneaks up on me. Which is kind of unusual, right? Because he's a, he's a big boy. He's a real big boy. 
here we've got our opportunity for a justice surge coming up. Not the easiest to do with Starch and her generally awesome DPS. Sometimes we gotta be in more control of it than usually we have. Let's just get him kind of cycled in here. Oh. Oh, I think that might have done it. I think that was it. I don't know. I wasn't able to glance at my chain meter real quick there. Can anybody uh, in chat confirm or deny that that was a surge? I feel like it was. It felt pretty good. We got him really down there. But I will either have to look at it later or if somebody is able to confirm. We can get our, our 10 points on the point total. Very important. Oh my goodness, these mines again. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoop. Oh boy. Alright, good. We had a good transition into 24 here. Usually I take a real silly down to one of the early mines here, but we managed to establish ourselves here pretty well. Not gonna get caught by a laser across the level. No surge? Ah, oh, boo! That felt so good though! And we still didn't get a surge out of it. Alright, well, whatever. Thanks for checking. I do appreciate it. No surge. That's, that's ridiculous. I guess maybe I destroyed him before I got uh, his head. I was really aiming to get his head and have the explosion take uh, Justice himself out. That's really the only way I can sort of guarantee a surge with Starch. Her rockets are just too unreliable for it, and as much damage as the laser does on its own, usually it ends up killing the main body before it hits the head anyways. Oh, dang it. Ah, man. I had good setup for it. I had good damage done to him. Just had a lot of good things going for it, and I still couldn't pull it off. Disappointing. Ah, well. We'll get it next time, right? We'll get it next time. It's always the next run. So our next point opportunity will be layer 31 into 32, getting Embryo EX. We've been pretty good on those. 14 of those out of uh, the 21 runs we've done so far. So two-thirds. Two-thirds success rate. That one's a little bit easier, despite having to deal with Titan gank, etc. been doing pretty well since Justice. No silly dancing required, no weird panic swaps. Good control of our space. Except for there, we got kind of pinned down by a little tiny doggo. That's alright. Back towards the center and we'll clean up the rest of this. Alright, nice. Good good cleanup of the rest of 25 there. And on to Casino Layer, Act 1. Again, not my most favoritist of layers. We'll do what we can here. I'll try to prevent these dudes from jumping around so much, because they tend to bring things along for the ride we're not expecting. The mines and bunches of wasps and doggos and all that. We just don't need that. We just don't need it. Don't need any surprises. Whoa, see, I don't know why that mine got accelerated near my face hole that time. Something happened, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure what.
Ooh, okay, that was a that was a bit frightening. Need to do the swap back to avoid the laser in the face. All right, let me grab this, shut down, and go ham for a bit. Good clear out of those first few waves. Sometimes that can get a little bit crowded. A swap all powered up and ready for that too, because I knew what was gonna happen. <laughs> and I still got caught unawares. Oops. Well, so much for that burgeoning chain. Just have to bring it back in the late game here. Oh, we totally missed uh 27th layer stretch, so let's take it now. Totally spaced on it. That's okay, as long as we get it eventually, right? As long as we don't miss it. <laughs> so good. So good. Ouch! Oh man, he had more of a laser charged up than I remembered. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. That's alright. We'll take a quick down after our stretch, that's fine. I tend to miss a fully powered laser when you don't have it anymore. There we go. Now we can burn, burn, burn. The battery's still looking pretty good. We took two silly downs here on 28, which will not help us in the long run. We should be good to recover through the rest of the layer. a little bit more cognizant of how much uh, health those big factories have left. So I tend to take too much of a step into them when they aren't quite dead. That's a lot of bullets, dang it. <laughs> Looking for an out there and they did not give one to me. All of my exits covered.
get most of the dudes behind there. Really good enemy balance there. Didn't have any stragglers <clears throat> nearing the end of the wave. It's usually I got a, a cluster or two of blue doggos or something that I don't focus down quickly enough and then just appear in pairs and it's really slow. Oops, that shut down. I don't know where that came from. management there too, no stragglers on the outside. there too. Alright, we've been doing pretty well for late 20s, early 30s. <clears throat> no extremely poor showings just yet. That was a little scary because those dudes were <clears throat> charging up to huck their mines into my possible escape route, but luckily we got to them before they got to me. This dude's still doing this thing out there scares me. As does that dude. Why is he still in the corner and alive? Excuse me, thank you. Alright, is this Titan Gang? I think it's Titan Gang. Appears to be Titan Gang. Little quickie blip of critical there. It seemed to have fewer Titans at the very start than most Titan Gangs have seen, so I don't know what was going on there. That's why I could not identify it immediately. No problem, we're through the bulk of it, everything's fine. Nothing much to worry about, we're well on our way to get an Embryo EX here, and another five points. I guess we'll take the shutdown, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, excuse me, sir. You back off, sir. You back off. Okay. A little DPS deficient here because our firepower is going to run out. We get a firepower in the next phase now? Okay. We'll, we'll wait it out. We'll wait it out. It's fine. So we want to kind of maintain it. We're at good distance to him as well. Good tracking. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Get 
a little bit closer than we want to for this phase. <laughs> no. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Hard to track that sometimes. I guess we'll take the shutdown, whatever. Not exactly my first choice, but uh, we're gonna, gonna hang out until we know where he's gonna spray there. Okay, we're good. That was a little scary, because these dudes get caught behind the walls and take a ride whilst they're firing their lasers. Here we are, back at Casual Thousand. Real good to have that on Red Layer 33. Usually we would have taken a, a real silly spill on Layer Transition or something. on the end of it, but they are for now in good position. Avoid popping those wasp cans near the rotating walls. Wedges himself against the wall, and it's like, well, okay. So I'm dealing with this laser now. There's a little quickie flip a critical there. Pretty good 33 there, despite it not being my most favorite. Oh, shoot. I can drop right in front of me. Still staying ahead of the battery a little bit, despite losing the momentum there. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Come on. <laughs> Pop by a mine and back up and then get just bodied by something else. Shoot. Okay, so that's firmly in critical there. That's not good. And I'm running out of space to build up a buffer before curse. Very stingy on the drops there. That's not good. You know, 35 is kind of a stingy layer in general. But that felt a little bit too stingy. Pump that one down, of course. Why is it all the way over here? Oh no! <laughs> Come on! 
the line. You gotta not do that. Also, I need an accelerator or something. Myself away from the bad things. Thank you. Alright, that one was a little bit better. Covering a little bit. Okay, good. We didn't leave the big dude behind the wall. Back in on red layer 36. Kind of scary. But, uh, better this than blue or green layer, surely. Ouch. Let's pop on the opposite side of wherever I happen to be, of course. Nearly recovered out of critical. Add momentum back up again. Okay, completely out of critical now. That was a good drop. Nearly lost chain just for the heck of it. I didn't need all of those accelerates, my goodness. Many of them. Okay, nearly to curse, we're in pre curse. Which can still be rather bad. Good momentum, we've got good management of enemies. Fairly okay drop there. Good transition into Curse itself. I'm gonna grab a couple of counter shutdowns here because this does scare me still. Um, there was a hidden mine there, excuse me. Big dude blocking it with his body. Mm, okay, well... Losing momentum on Curse itself is generally bad. Mm, that might have been a pity battery. Not good. Is pretty close to being a pity battery if it wasn't one entirely. That one was also exceedingly close. Doggo needs to let go of me now. Thank you. <laughs> stop. Just stop it. those dudes left in a not great transition into 39. At least we're back up to reds. So that's something. Mm, 
scary. Scary, scary, scary. We're getting real low on the critical, and I don't like it. Um, excuse me! Oh, he dropped right in front of that shutdown! You jerk. Oh, that's not good. That is now extremely not good. Okay, that was certainly a pity, if ever there was one. It's a good shutdown. Got a lot of the big beefy boys out of there. Okay, still hanging in there. This is scary, thank you. Okay, on to 40s. So we've got that going for us. Boy howdy, could I use a shutdown or three? Thank you. <laughs> thank you and please. Shut down and an accelerate to go, please. Thank you. We caught that at the end of the phase. He was right on the shutdown again. You jerks, get away from there. <laughs> I need that. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You did not get caught by those simple things. Reavy. I think we might still have enough to do this, but jeez, this is closer than it needs to be. Small recovery there. We're back up to reds. Come on. Thank you. Oh, doggo, let go of me. Don't need that. Thank you. Such a weird phase. A little conveyor belt going makes things way harder than it needs to be. gets caught behind that far wall. Try to kite the spawns over to the left here. Good. 
Um, this is gonna be a little scary. Especially with that. Okay, just make sure we <laughs> die with our corpse in range of the battery. That's fine. That's fine. battery off this sucker now. That's fine. Oi! <laughs> this is way too silly at the end. Like, that shouldn't happen like that. But boy howdy, we did it. Despite our best efforts, we did it. Let's tick up some numbers. Just 11 downs. A little bit above the double digit mark. That's alright. So that'll hit us at 268. Did have an Embryo EX encounter, no Surge, even though it felt like we had that Justice Surge, whatever. 13th victory. I think we're clear on everything else here, ain't we? Alright, update that stuff. Update that stuff and get ready for round two, or run two, rather. Um, who's, who's number two here? Peanut, right? Good old Peanut. Oh, we're not using the un Oh, we could use the unicorn hat. Nah, let's not use the unicorn hat. We've been sticking with the metallic skins for our third go around here, so let's get the window dressing going. Oh, we got a little, little shirt change here. Look away if you're squeamish. Bold peanut shirt. Very bold orange. Very cool, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. Alright. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Almost the appropriate season for orange too. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Alright. Very good. Well this is Infinity Drive for Life. Multi-day charity stream to benefit Extra Life, which benefits Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Uh, this event in particular is going to help out Children's Wisconsin and Wauwatosa, their COVID-19 impact fund. Very excellent cause. We've already raised 808 buckos. Which is super awesome. Thank you, everybody, for your generous contributions. Whew, but I think it's time to get started with the peanuts, isn't it? Let's go with her metallic skin. Uh, it's not as quite as bold of orange as you would hope, right? It looks almost a little bit too much like the the chocolate brown of Shiitake's uh, metal, doesn't it? A little bit. It could have used a little bit more orange and a little bit less brown, but hey, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll win either way, right? We'll win either way. But here we go, peanut. For run number 23. Uh, we are at one of two with her so far. We had a real tease of a loss on layer 49 the first go around. And we did succeed on the second one. So here's hoping we can make that two for three. But a long way to go. I mean, we're already on layer two, I know, but uh, 47 more layers before we can say, haha, we win. But it should be fun, should be fun. In my HS of O's, Peanut is one of the more novel characters with her weaponry. What with her primary magma shooter here. And her secondary drill. Very cool. Very cool and neat. It's up for some very interesting strats. Sometimes. But especially with the number of walls and holes we'll be dealing with in future layers here, I find our drill isn't quite as useful as, say, Starch's mini rockets in dispatching the enemies. But, uh, you know, we, we do what we can with what we got. She is rather quick at uh, getting a lot of these waves taken care of, though, because of that 
magma hangs around for a bit. Cover your butt on one angle while actively shooting towards another. Which is real nice and fun. Makes her very quick on campaign runs as well. Um, not quite starch quick, but uh, quite rapid. Especially for certain levels. Five already, my goodness, we are knocking them down quick. Layer 5's mines should pose almost no problem as long as we uh, defend ourselves appropriately. Ooh, that one slipped by somehow, but we got it all the same. does hang around can sometimes obscure our vision of the targeting reticles from the doggo rockets there. We gotta be careful, as always. All the other hectic things going on. Let's get rid of those so we can pop off that center. Mines of layer 6 should pose equally little threat as the ones on 5. ourselves appropriately here, and, and if we remember which phase they start appearing on, I think it's after this one. Clear out some stuff. Kind of lay down some defensive measures here. There we go. Easy peasy. Ooh, we almost got blindsided that, by that big boy. He was nice and red, so he kind of blended in with the floor. But, uh... Speed and lightning reflexes saved us that time. Well, I wouldn't say lightning reflexes, I guess. It was just kind of very slowly tilting towards us. Very, very slowly tilting. And we caught it before it got to us. Very quick embryo phases with a little bit of pre-damage from the magma and a full-on drill and firepower at our sides. Easy peasy. Nice eye frames from that drill. He's tearing all the way through his bullet sprays. As long as that drill is sticking in something, you're invincible. On your way to your target, not so much, but as soon as it makes contact, Drill, baby, drill. Shutdown's a little bit less useful with Peanut. It's the limited range on her weaponry. But good in a pinch if we need it later on, especially if they start clustering around a, a solid middle or something. But hey, there's our casual thousand coming to play a little bit. Good to see it on a nice low layer 9. Nice 
this quickie layer 10 again. Let's go. Let's go. Even quicker than starch, probably. With our indirect damage from the magma on the floor. him to toddle forward just a little bit and hit that magma that we laid out for him. But he refused. He refused our generous invitation. The drill itself being stuck in a, a big dude doesn't really do a whole lot of damage on its own, so you kind of rely on any firepower you've got. You soften them up just enough, the drill takes care of the rest, and then you catch a, a drill on the next dude in line. It's perfect. Grab shut down, because things get a little scary without an accelerate allowance around the layer 2 mine phases. Nice. Nice cleanup, no stragglers. I can make stealing those dudes behind the wall a little bit easy. As long as we lay down a strip before it rotates over in front of us. and strong. About to hit that 2,000. Real nice. Okay. Good start. Let's keep that rolling this time. Not take a silly down on 14. Preferably not right before Vespi rears her head. Excellent, excellent. And assuming Vespi remains free this time, be exiting here at a nice, like, 26 hundo or something. <laughs> she caught the the remainder of our magma over there, which is really cool. Didn't even kind of, didn't even really plan that, but I'm glad it worked out that way. Nice. There we go. Grab that before it seals up on the center there. Beautiful. 
beautiful Vespi, and we're sitting at 25 hundo. Real good number. What would be even better is something even higher. scary with those two dudes patrolling the inside there. Let's walk around and take care of them. Okay, good cleanup. On to a nice red 17. Did everything open up like this, uh, the next 3,000. Drill really doesn't help too much, so we usually like to quick slam things against the wall. And with the walls being literally as far from each other as they can be here, we rely more on our magma than anything else. Magma and firepower, really. Or, you know, a quick drill through the center turrets, too, is pretty good. Good. Coverage there. Oh, and then I walked right into it. Like a, like a big smart guy. So Larry 18 gets the first down here. A uh, pretty solid 3,000 sum. That was a kind of a silly down though. I, I kind of deserved it. Because so I walked right into it. I don't know why I thought I had some protection from it or something. Maybe I thought I could quick turn and get my firepower drones to take care of it, but eh. Ah, well. Plenty of time to get a better chain, though. We're gonna about a third of the way through. A little bit more than a third of the way through. More enemies from here on out. Doggos out of there before they dump their load. Make things a little bit safer. Oh, come on, really? He didn't... Ah, nice silly chain drop there. Didn't quite walk forward enough to get burned by the magma we left. Oh, Shaw. Hmm. Mm. Dang it. Well, that's alright. A little quick reset on layer 19, I guess. A bold move to drill through the super mines like that. Uh, probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> probably should not be doing that.
battery pops, and then immediately two blue busters drop down to protect it. Like, come on, guys. Come on, guys, really? I suppose it might be controlling clouds at this point. Probably plenty of heat and moisture in this arena from all the magma. So it might be able to control some clouds, but uh, quite what we were expecting. Alright, that dude... Uh, Spitting his blue rings down there needs to go away. Thank you. Yeesh. weird cut through the red energy wave there. Exactly what we're going for. Oh shoot. Chain drop because I didn't focus my attack properly. And then a silly down because I was looking at other things. Great. Great, great, great. What a, a fantastic start to layer 22 here. Full chain before getting to justice, that's good. Possibility of a surge here. And if we actually get the surge this time, it'd be real nice. Quite the same amount of DPS that Starch has, but honestly, a little bit more DPS control might be better. Good setup going here. Okay, I feel like that was a surge. Our score is looking a lot better. Like nearly 20 million instead of 18 and change. So I'm pretty sure we got the surge there. Appreciate any confirmation that somebody can look, but I'm fairly certain we had that time. positive with our score the way it is. So that's another 10 points towards our total, which is real nice. Makes us 5 out of... Uh, 5 out of 23 now for Justice Surge. Excellent. Thank you, Ron Cleef, for confirming that. You know, it's kind of weird. Like, I, I'd say the surge is harder with Peanut than it is with Starch, but we nailed that one pretty good. Mm. Very silly. Very, very silly. But hey, whatever. I ain't gonna grave about it. We'll just 
We'll take the surge, we'll take the points, and we'll we'll have a nice day. The knowledge that we got at least one surge tonight. Alright, that's a good 24 as well. Didn't get spiked by any weirdness. caught me on that one. Accelerate ran out right as I was going for those mine cans. And real bad timing. That way we kind of adjusted midstream there. Everything worked fine that time. by doggos in the middle as lasers are charging everywhere. Really nice 25 though, and on to Casino Lair, Act 2. I remember this time to actually get uh, 27th layer stretch on the 27th layer, now that we're thinking about it actively. Dude, stop pushing that factory around, my man. Come on. <laughs> Come on. those mines on the outer ring there. Thought they were dropping in too late to get hit by it. But good all the same. I don't want to deal with them whilst we're cleaning up the inside here. Magma's real good here because it has a, has a tendency to hit all the mines before they dive straight into the hole so I don't get credit for them. Boy howdy, is it nice to grab them all. So they worked quite a few weapon energy and worked quite a bit towards the next battery. Mine cans are just like, hmm, excellent. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to see when you're working your way out of death. Nice casual thousand is back too back for 200 before we noticed it. Ah, lost both of those. Boo. That's alright. We don't have a lot of time to store up power-ups anymore, but losing those two is no biggie. Come into a nice strong red 28. Sitting there taunting me. 
being all smug, being like, yeah, you ain't gonna grab me, you don't need it. Like, now, it's what you think. I'm gonna grab you. Nice grab on the way through there. Beautiful enemy management. Boom! Excellent. Excellent cleanup. Oh shoot, did I miss the stretch again? <laughs> I sure did! I was even talking about it! And I still missed it! I guess I was just so excited about having a real good casino layer. Alright, let's get this a little bit cleaner before we break for stretch here. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> I get so excited. I'm gonna have to rename it the 28th layer stretch at this rate. Yeah. Mm, 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 Let's hope we don't drop chain right out of stretch like we did last time, huh? Okay, we're good. Oh, I was doing near the end of the layer too. <laughs> so it may as well have been a layer 28 stretch. So many Buster Titans and Big Red Doggons in this lair. Especially at the start. This thing's so treacherous. And it opens up with blue doggos and more mines and ugh. Just a bunch of stuff you don't want to face all at once. There, excuse me. Alright, let <laughs> me grab the shutdown there because that laser was getting really close to toasting our faces off. Don't need that. turrets from zoning us out as soon as you get away from the center. A couple spawn up in there. There we go. On to the 30s now. Nice solid 2000 plus chain going. That was a bold move. Drilling into the laser that was firing at me. Probably not the best idea. Clean up those mine phases. That shut down because I do not like the center at that point.
Excellent. Good layer 30. Sometimes that can be real dicey. Because I nearly face tank a huge number of bullets at the start of 31. Um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> that took a little dancing to get away from. Shut down, thought I could wiggle my way around it. Should be hitting Titan Gank about now? Alright? Yeah. Yay, Titan Gank. Well, oh, okay. I was hoping that was gonna be the shutdown, but I'm glad I didn't rely on it to be. Okay, good gank management. Right there without too many panics. Looks like we'll be seeing the Embryo EX a second time. wanted to accelerate because I can push through him accidentally. Bonk. Okay. Serviceable. Not great, but serviceable. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna take the shutdown because this phase with Peanut is not good. Especially when he starts getting out there. Oh, what a grab! Oh, I was almost off on my aim. But we got him. Oh boy, I was a little scared there too. Almost off by just enough. Ah, and I drill into a laser. And I take a ride away from the power-up that I wanted. Ugh. This is such a bad layer for Peanut. Without an accelerate. Alright, that's enough of that, please. of our gains from a pretty solid Embryo EX fight. Because it's just such a slow layer with Peanut. Um, excuse me with that one? Wasn't even near me, but okay. Let's extend that hitbox to benefit them and them only. Jerks. <laughs> Not a critical, which is good. I can't imagine that's gonna persist for very long. Okay, 
Get me out of that layer 33. Disgusting. Just disgusting. Small play there. <laughs> Tip that dude over the center. Weird. little blip of critical on 34. That's pretty good. Like, 30 is super early, 31, 32. 33 is pretty average, 34 is nice. Nice spot for our first criticals there. And not even a big blip of it either. It was nice and, nice and brief as we got that extra battery. the big boy on that one, but he jumped really clean over. Caught one of the big boys and got the doggo that had tethered us with him. Dodgy. Excuse me. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> enough dancing around those two dudes. Oop, candle Thousand's back. Dump all those mine cans square in these tiny little holes, which is not good. So we want the weapon energy drops from the mines themselves. Make up the bulk of our battery gains here. There. 
late spawning blue doggos there again. Late spawn on that one. few late spawns again, but it's a pretty strong 38 regardless. Just gotta keep it rolling this way though. These things can turn on a very, very thin dime sometimes. Great transition to 39, but it'll make it work, I guess. enough crowd control here to keep ourselves from getting zoned out by these blue factories and lasers and everything else that wants to do us harm. It's cool 2000 chain rolling. bit of an earlier pop there, which is nice. Okay, good. Good transition into 40. focus less on our drill since we'll be in open field here and more on just straight up magma to help things along. Just use the drill to kind of do an open field tackle and, and hope for the best. Good. 
that battery pop entirely out of critical, which is kind of incredible. It means we're gaining pretty good in the 40s here, of all places. there. Good. Kept everything out of the perimeter. Incredible. Five being in the tank now is excellent. Bit of a late pop there, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to drop somewhere that was a little bit inaccessible from all the firepower floating around here. Excellent, good timing for all of that. And on to 49. Popping these shutdowns in very good spots here. Excellent. <laughs> this is exactly what we want to see for a 49. Shutdowns, shutdowns, shutdowns. Big beefy boys going down left, right, and center. Are you not entertained? Okay. That was an excellent, excellent, excellent finisher. Uh oh! <laughs> oh no! Peanut is now our new PB. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that is a really solid score, though. Forty-two point six million. We got the justice surge, which certainly helps out with that. Five downs only. Oh man! No, that means I'm gonna have to go back with Avi again and set an even better PB. Because having Peanut as a PB is not. Not my favorite. <laughs> well, that popped me up two spots, though. I think I was at number eight, and now we're at number six. E goodness. E goodness. Well, all right, let's tick up the numbers then. 273. Embryo encounter there. A justice surge. Boy, howdy, that's unheard of. Another victory. And everything else is the same so far. My goodness. Ugh. No, I'm not torching my obby shirt, are you kidding me? No, it's my favorite one. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Oh wow, okay, that's pretty good. That's a really solid PB too. I think I was like at one at 41.4 or 41.5 or something. So that's a good million and, and change. Phew! Okay, cool though. I'm feeling good about that one. That was pretty good. There was a couple silly downs in there that shouldn't have happened, but overall, very solid performance. But now, now it's time for the final one of the evening though. It's it's time for Licorice. Um, but as I don't have a Licorice shirt, and since uh, one of our other shirts has been bringing us good luck, I think we'll change into a Holly shirt here real quick and see if the luck persists. <laughs> Get that, that Holly shirt back on. One of my faves. Like, probably my second fave, aside from my Obby shirt, honestly. But we'll see if it brings us luck this time. 
yet again. So, all right, we are at two on the night. Finally broke that. Yeah. Finally broke that win-loss win curse we've had going for pretty much every other round except for what round three, round four, something like that. Every other round has been a win-loss win, but now we've got a double win, and we're headed into licorice. Um. Licorice is going to be a bit of a, 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 a harder sell, I think. As we're on, are we on two for two for licorice though? I feel like we might be. So, uh oh, we've got a a heck of a got a heck of a, a thing to do here, don't we? Hmm. Well, let's get hydrated up just in case, you know. Always important to stay hydrated. And also to hit the 27th layer stretch at the right time. <laughs> See, we even hit it late this past time, we still won. So maybe that's the key, huh? Maybe we take the stretch on 28 instead of 27. And then it's guaranteed victory. But whatever, we get a nice, uh... A nice shiny black licorice this time. <laughs> that does actually look kind of sick. To be honest with you, looks good. It looks a little bit better than, than Peanuts metallic skin, which was more of like a, a burnt umber or something than a, than a true orange. This is like a, a nice like black chrome or something. Oh, it looks super sick. Oh, but we gotta set the window dressing now. Almost forgot. Bonk. All right, with proper hydration and uh, hopefully our Lucky Charm Holly shirt here. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go with our, our final run of the eve, and, and it seems like it's going to be our final run of the event, since we are very far away from our 3,000 points to get to the final round extension. But that's okay. We've, we've been playing a lot of runs, so I'm okay with this being the final round. Honest with you. But here we go. Licorice for the third time. Ready to, to pwn some robots. One of the easier androids to do the Justice Surge with as well. So, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we can do two Justice Surges on the night. That would be something, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that just be something? I'd be very happy with that, honestly. With the, the low rate of, of surging we've done with Justice, it's kind of silly. Only at, what, five? Five of 23 runs so far? We could make it six of 24. You know, I'd be okay with like a 25%. 25% just a surge rate, that'd be okay. It's not great, but it's not awful. the nice, beautiful triple slashes that we didn't need to use there, but it looks good. So I'm gonna admire it, whilst we have the time to admire it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And then we take a, a real silly down in four. Very embarrassing early down in four. Oof. Uh. <laughs> Oof. All right, so... First down has uh, has already popped. Oops, oops, oops. But that's right. Nothing but nothing but perfection from here on out. That's how it works, I believe. Got it out of the way. Now, but free and clear from here on out. Right? We had what, an 18, or no, a 14, an 18, and now a 4. So, okay, well, we'll still, I think, on the night we're still averaging double digits, right? Or was it not 18 last time? I don't remember what it was last time. We definitely got beyond all, or beyond Vespi. So it was after 15. 
just don't remember which one it was. I think it was 18. 18 sticks in my mind for some reason. That, uh, he not run. Go back and figure it out. Put up the scores later. I didn't need that shutdown. Why did that appear right in my way as I was dashing over? Boo! Oh, coward shutdowns required on five? Are you kidding me? I could have used one on four to save myself the down. We don't need it on five, especially after the mine phase. Oh, come on, really? And then it popped another one just to disappear. Boo. Poor power up management there. Oh well, that's right. It's super early. We can store those back up. enough setup for a nice full a nice full triple uh, turret slash later on it just looks so sick triangle pathing and boom boom bam good management there. We're gonna pop the quick full slash so I don't have to contend with the timing on Embryo's first burst there. Ooh, okay. That was good positioning. I was a little bit worried about the timing. We had good enough positioning to stay away from it. These Embryo phases are just so silly. Bonk. Good positioning there, too. Well away from the bullet strength. Oh, that one was well positioned, though. Didn't, uh, respect the reverse spray there. Oops. So Embryo actually got a kill there. Way to go, man. I don't know if that's enough for a promotion, but he, uh, he did some work this time. Good job. Good job. That's mostly on me, though, for being very lax with my final slash in the final phase. So I'm not sure if I'm I'm ready to give Embryo all the credit on that one. walk right into those. Alright, we're being real sloppy at the start. Which is, you know, if we're gonna be sloppy, the start is where we're gonna be sloppy. That's fine. Coming off that pretty sick peanut run. Dude. It's the one dude on the outer ring that pops the battery. Thanks for that. Yes, thanks. there. It's clearly targeting the big red. Yeah, a little bit too close to me now. Blade targeting is more an art than a science, really. Getting a 
which hitboxes get in your way. Um, sir? Get, get out of- <laughs> Get out from behind that wall, you jerk! Ugh, that's annoying. That was a chain drop that should not have happened. Ah, well. Again, silly stuff is gonna happen. I'd much rather happen early than late. Late positioning there. Probably should have charged it a little bit more to get the big red on it, but. Ah, well. Come on! I slipped under that, I thought. Silly. Extremely silly. Well, I think we've got the the total number of our peanut runs down by layer 11, which is very, very bad. <laughs> Doesn't bode well for later on. That's okay though. Plenty of time to bring this back. We've uh, we've done better with worse. Surely, surely we have. Always caught behind the wall. Always. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what we do on this layer, there's always one little tiny wasp dude. It's hung up on the central pillar. It's gonna be too distant. Went for it anyways. on that one. Sure we'd have enough position to get both big boys in it. We got it. difference on those blue lasers and kind of came out ahead on it. Alright, nice old Vespi fight now. Let's keep that firepower, please. Alright, you know what? Let's try to position this properly. There we go. So you catch her trailing edges, she's moving away. That usually gives you enough time to get a slash in there. Oh, well. 
Doesn't help when I hold it a bit too long in the swarm, though. Dang it, Vespi. Why can you not be extremely consistent? Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Woo, that was scary. Oh, and then I paid for it by moving into the line of bullets. Dang it. Oof, it's a very bad Vespi. So, rip score, unfortunately. I think a bunch of... Come on. Vespi. <laughs> Do not like. I'm gonna take another down there. Oh no, we got away that time. Come on, really? Okay. I'm very confused as to why is this game. Oh wow, targeted right on that firepower. Perfect. That's what we were aiming for, but geez, I didn't realize I was gonna get it. Ah, stupid Vespi! <laughs> Do not like. It was a very poor show in there. What are you gonna do? We gotta buff our numbers somehow. Get those points up there, you know? We got very little time now to get up to the 3,000 points to unlock that round 9. My faith might be wavering just a touch. I've done my job. I'm getting the victories and such. I'm doing my best. There's only so much I can do. Knowing my luck, though, with this run going the way it is, like, I'm still gonna pull a win out of this. It's gonna be one of the ugliest wins I'll ever have. But I'll probably still manage a win somehow. And I've had some pretty ugly wins. Like, even during this event, I've had some really ugly wins. My goodness. I think my first cactus win was pretty ugly, right? It wasn't great. We were coming from behind for most of it. Like once we hit like 35, 36, then it was just like down, 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 down. We still managed to salvage it. Second cactus play wasn't great. We downed on 49, I think, right? As well as our first peanut was a, a 49 tease as well. Sealed my fate that mine. Oh wow, okay. Got a new donation that came in. $100 from Firetron. GG, I'm getting a new PB. Thank you, sir. And thank you very much for your generosity. That's excellent. That is super cool of you. I appreciate it. Sorry if that one was hanging out for a bit. Just managed to glance over and catch sight of new incoming. Very good. Oh, silly chain drop there. So that, of course, puts us 100 points closer to, to 9,000. Uh, 9, wow, 9,000 would be a stretch. To 3,000. We're probably pretty close to 2200 by now. We didn't do a, a recap recount between runs. We'll definitely have to do it at the end of this one. Just to see if we're doing a round 9 or not. I'm gonna guess not, but hey. It'll be interesting to see just how far we get. Oh, no, we didn't need that shutdown. Have that battery hang out forever, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
No. <laughs> this is getting a little scary. A little scary there, We're running out of room to maneuver. Oh, we need that shutdown though, come on. Why do they pop that stuff right in my way as I'm dashing around? I don't need it. Waiting for the target there. Bonk, bonk. <clears throat> hey, and a thousand more bits from Street Le Mans there. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. That puts us ten points closer. Which is all cool and good. Every little bit helps. through this red layer 20. Finally found our footing after a frankly embarrassing run up to the 20s here. And not good. We even took it down on Embryo. We took it down on Embryo, we took it down on Vespi. Had a handful of them in between. It wasn't a, a great start. But now we finally found it, so. It's a lot of wasps, excuse me. Good positioning. Good positioning to get most of those big dudes. Shutdown really helped a lot too. Kept them from moving around. Oh, excuse me. Looky there, our first thousand. Our first thousand, because we couldn't get our first thousand by layer nine, so we're just playing too poorly. It's good to see regardless, though. Good to see the casual thousand show up 12 layers too late. <laughs> Dangerously held full slash. We got so many of them out of there. Very good opening slash on Justice. Well, get a couple of the <coughs> fence power ups there before we pop them entirely. Alright. So try to pull him away from the wall a little bit and then redirect his aim. Yeah. 
Okay, now we are a little bit too silly on the aim there, so no third justice surge, to, or second justice surge tonight, rather. Had the right positioning and setup, just didn't have enough damage on him before we popped that head. So, rip that, rip score. Well, it was rip score from the very beginning, really, from taking a down on Embryo. That's alright. <clears throat> Wouldn't have expected this to be a, a good scoring run anyways after the PB that was Pina. Kind of incredible that that happened, even. Oh, wow. Let's just run square into that. Why not? We were doing too well. <laughs> Let's stop doing so well. Used to take out that huge group. Second time in a row there. Just in time. Just for point of reference on the score, their peanut run, previous run. We had more than this coming out of the Justice fight after layer 22, and we're just barely scraping 20 mil now. Incredible. Incredible what a, a bunch of unfortunate downs will do to your score. Pretty much any time you're above 1 million, any down will cut 100k off your score. Straight up attacks for being bad, pretty much. We think we probably have already hit double digit downs on this one, so we're probably missing a, a cool solid million, and we're only about halfway through. So here's Casino Layer Act 3. Remember to do the stretch immediately after this time. Put it at the top of our mind. late again and have to pop it on 28, right? Although it, it's worked out so far, like having to stretch on 28, we've had two wins tonight because of that. So maybe that's good luck. Maybe getting a late stretch is good luck. good casino layer, but it's time for the stretch. <laughs> Remembered this time.
Okay, and we should be in good position to keep chain rolling, right? Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Oh, casual thousands back too. All right, now we're really doing okay. Pretty clean 27 as well. No frills, no muss. No damage, no fuss. Ouch! <laughs> uh, followed up immediately by an extremely bad down on 28. <laughs> uh, this is such a watch by it, pretty much. Ah, well. Like that, that thousand chain? Too much. Too much, take it back. Too much, take it back. The firepower. It looks like we're not. We don't have many power ups in the bank here. That's not good. Not gonna have much to draw on when we need it in the late 30s. Um, I'm kind of curious what hit me there. Is there some fish bullets that I did not keep track of? Don't know if like how that turned out. Mm. Oh come on! I swear they knew I was going for it. So like, ah oh, no, I'm gonna transform this bit of the layer so he can't get that one. Your player twenty nine. that chain it's on its way out it's fading off the screen entirely and they're like no nope, you come back here straight into something else. Pretty impressed that we didn't get bodied by that group of mines, but then something else did us in. Quite sure what. Hell yeah. 
series of normal bullets or a group of fish bullets or something. Ow, for fudge sake, really? Oof. Critical on 29 is a bad sign. Luckily, it's before the Embryo EX recharge, so we'd still have a chance, but oof. Feels real bad. Quite in the pity territory, but still. Spread just enough, huh? Of course, we gotta make sure we get Embryo EX. If we don't, it'll be a bit problematic now since we're gonna count on him for a battery recharge. critical again, but Howdy should not have gone down quite that way. Titan gank just yet. One more wave. Of course he jumps away as soon as I get in my slash. Hey, jerk. There we go. Alright, one more wave and then Titan gank. Which usually with licorice isn't so bad. We just gotta make sure the jumpy boys don't uh, jump every slash that we make. So otherwise, it gets a little silly. Let's go ahead and grab that, because I don't want to deal with them. Oh, why did it jump all the way over there? Like I was going for this big grouping here. Yeah, on the opposite side of everything. Alright. Couple coward shutdowns later, and we got it. Keep our accelerate up here, too. Well, I don't usually like having it for Embryo EX. Might actually help us out here. We'll do a quick slash on, too, so I don't have to deal with the spray. Good. Oh, well, I didn't want to do that, but whatever. <laughs> but whatever. Almost end the phase before it begins. Luckily, we got that at just the right timing, otherwise, he would have 
floated up and over it, and we would have wasted that shutdown. Alright, wait on this a little bit. Gah, I kind of figured that was going to happen, but we had to go for it. This phase is just too silly with that. Uh, I don't know if we got that. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. Not ideal. Oh, come on! Hey, jerk Embryo EX? Come on, man. Mm. Shoot. Exactly what we need. Ooh, I got a little scared, so I probably cut out at the right time there. Oh, what? Ah, uh, shoot! Embryo EX, you jerk! All right, why did we jump everywhere but the big red I was aiming for? Thank you, Licorice. As long as we can re-establish momentum at 33, did get enough of a charge off of Embryo EX to make this workable? Boy howdy, it's gonna be a fight. Like a challenge though. Um, Doggo, with you, please. <laughs> do not do that. Uh, grab me just as I'm jumping. Gotta be kidding me. Ooh, this is dangerous dancing in the middle of everything. to persist in doing that, though, because I didn't want those factories to stay alive. Um, okay, come on. We're nowhere near me. Oh my god, that was not where I targeted. <laughs> Oof. Oh my goodness. Alright, good accelerate there. Gods. Clenching up a bit. Targeting the triangle around this bottom there. There we go, that's better.
no, fudge sake. Clean up and have those dudes pop in late. Move sticking around as long as I did there. Okay, good into 36. So, alright, we're gaining somehow. Despite everything else. Thousands back in action again. Dangerous. One of those doggos didn't grab me as I was trying to do that. Okay, really late pop happening there. Oh boy. Wow, that dude bounced the mine all the way from across the fucking thing. Or the freaking thing, sorry. <laughs> Oops.
Mm. I knew that doggo was gonna grab me. I think I panic swapped out of it. Bad cleanup. Those dudes kind of hanging in there. All right, this is gonna be a, a very big fight to get back. But just gotta believe. lasers are live for a little bit to help me out. I don't want them getting the kill credit. This is now extremely dicey. Thirty nine being way too long of a layer. Okay, good. Double kill. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, battery. Ah, oh, got dunked as soon as we hit the layer transition. That's not good. Um, <laughs> uh oh. Man, it's gonna be some real spicy slashes now to get ourselves through this. Ah, oh, come on, really? Uh oh. Oh good, and then we lost the firepower that that was going to be. This is concerning now. We get maybe a late pop and maybe not one at all, actually. Dang it! <laughs> oh man. Wow. Oh man, wow. Yep. That was a bad couple downs on 40. That totally killed our momentum. Well, shoot. <laughs> well, shoot, we were on our way for a 3 for 3 tonight, but no such luck. No such luck. Ah, well. Well, we got some numbers to tick up at the very least, so... Tw wow, 20 more downs, that's ridiculous. Uh, that should be 290. Okay. Uh, we did have an embryo fight, no justice surge, unfortunately, no victory. And then a thousand more bits, right? So count those up, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, very good. Um, I think we're well short of the 3,000 points, so... <laughs> no round nine, so this will be the final round. That's okay, though. We had a... All right, I don't want to have the game over music while I'm wrapping things up here. That'd be silly and depressing. Um, but real good. I'm, I'm surprised we went to eight rounds. I was planning on three, thinking maybe four or five, but wow, we pushed hard. Pushed hard to get to round eight, and I appreciate all of that. Appreciate everybody. Go on the distance. Go on the distance to do the, the cool things. Phew, phew, phew. Alright, let's do a final point count up. Let's see where we're at. Just for Grinzies. Definitely busting out a calculator, though. I do not trust my brain to do this. So let's see. 293 on downs. 85 on Embryo Encounters. Uh, 50 on Justice Surges. 280 on Victories. 14 for 24. That's solid work. Um, 10 on followers, 500 on subscribers, 41 for bits, plus 908 for donations, plus the 50 for an external source. 2217! My goodness. 
That's really good. Thank you so much, everybody, for all your generosity. That is super good. I am also going to kick in a little bit myself here as kind of a disciplinary measure for taking so many downs. I'm going to kick in a buck a down, so another 293 from me. We'll put our total donation count at... Uh, what did I say? 293, right? 1251. Incredible. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you very much, everybody. That will do it for Infinity Drive for Life. I'm super grateful I got the opportunity to do this. This is really fun. Um, but now we get to give give uh, both of these away. Where's my second one? Oh, it's on the floor. Duh. Um, so I need to put in some final scores. I need to add some things up and do some verification, but we will be announcing the winners on that shortly as well. So, one last time, this is Infinity Drive for Life, a multi-day charity stream to benefit Extra Life, which benefits Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. This event in particular is going to help out Children's Wisconsin in Wauwatosa. 1,251 buckos, our final tally, once I get my thing in for downs. Incredible. Thank you very much, everybody. With that, I will sign off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.